Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. We are on block number 11 for the illusions block of the month. And let me see if I can spotlight. I'll spotlight so I'm bigger. And what I have here is block 11. And this one was relatively easy, no surprises. I sewed this on my 480 because I loaned my 790 to Connie. She was waiting for her K facet machine and she now has it, so she's very happy. But it was good for me to get up close and personal with the 480 and I love the 480. I didn't think that I would like it as much because it doesn't have um, the automatic lifting. You have to go behind to lift up the presser foot. However, what I found is when you're using the knee lift, the only time that you have to lift that up is when you turn it on. The oh. presser foot needs to be in the up position. Then from there on, once you lower it to start sewing, from there on out, you just use the knee lift. And it was actually a little bit quicker doing that because once you cut, the presser foot doesn't automatically lift. You know how there's that little delay mm -hmm. waiting for the presser foot to go up. There is no delay because it's up to your leg. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I actually enjoyed it. And I've been making a lot of the 10 sisters easy piecing grid um, panels at home too. So I've, I really have used it a lot, but this isn't about a Bernina advertisement. <laughs> this is about doing this block. So I started out doing the center block and you can see there's a lot of half square triangles. I used my block lock rulers on these ones to square them up. And I have to say, I love block lock. It works so great. And um, I did twirl the seam. So where these meet in the center, right here, I did unpick those stitches it's kind of messy looking. Oops. But you can twirl that center seam. Mine doesn't look all that great this morning. It's almost like it got ironed over again and made it a little bit messy. But despite that, you can feel that it's not, I can feel that it's not super thick. Now, Using the 480, I had my 90, a 97 foot. The 480 does not have dual feed. Um, but as I sewed, every, I just had my seams touching the guide. And I didn't have any problem lining up my edges. The last block that I did, I must have been just ever so slightly away from the guide. I think I left like a thread width away from the guide and the fabric. This time I had the fabric touching as I sewed, I had it touching the guide, not riding the curb of the guide, but touching the guide. And I was very satisfied with how this block turned out. The block before I had to kind of trick my borders in this light color to fit. So I had a little tiny bit of poof on my center block. So that helped. Um, here's the difference on my, all of these half square triangles, just a little bit too long here. And again, I, I tried my best and that's all that this exercise is about is just trying your best and trying to keep it perfect. And let's see on the other side, 
that side was pretty good. So that's the real test is when you're putting together so many pieces, how accurate your quarter inch seams are, right? Mm -hmm. So now when I did the lecture in the store and people were examining this, they said, did you twirl your seams on the pinwheels? Because typically pinwheels are an easy block to do. And I said, no, I pressed it as they said. Um, let me look a little closer here. One of them, yeah, it was the purple one. I said, well, let's see what happens if we do. So I unpicked these. There's like two seams that you need to unpick. And there it is. I didn't iron it, but there's the twirled seam. You have purple going up right here and purple going down. So that would be flat. But then if I did this one, which did I start to pick that one apart? Yeah, I did. But regardless, because of, so when you, when you do that, this side goes up, this side goes down. So this side gets ironed up, this side gets ironed down. So I guess what you'd have to do is keep this side down and put this side up, but you can't quite do it because of that twist. This side wants to go down too. And because it's on top, I don't think it works really well. So I concluded, I'm just gonna iron this the way that it is. If you can figure out a way to twirl those seams and have like this side up, these two down, this side up, this side up, and then down, down, maybe it'll work. But I'm still unsure as to how I'm going to quilt this once it's all together. It'll speak to me when it's done. The triangles are all paper pieced, but that's a really easy paper piecing. And what I did on these, and it's probably not right, although I couldn't tell if through his instructions, and I suppose I could reach out to him, but these are not on grain, the gray pieces, because the easiest way to align them was to align it with, um, because these were cut as rectangles, I just aligned them. And I figured, well, there's half square triangles. This, this is cut to the bias or, you know, the straight of grain, but my, Gray triangles are biased. And again, I'm not sure if that's the correct way or not, but being that the half square triangles are biased, I figured what's a little bit more biased. <laughs> and that way I didn't fight to have enough fabric because on some of the prior paper piecing, it was really tight the way that they had you cut it. So if you, I, I guess that's just something to be careful of. And then I guess it's gonna go this direction. So this is what that block looks like. This one I thought was pretty fun and pretty easy. I did the center block one night, this part, and then I finished the other sewings the next day. So I typically cut and then set it aside. Sew the center block one day, and then sew the, the rest of it together. So I need about three days in order to do a block, at least in my day, that's how it works. How about you? How, how are you got girls doing? I haven't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> None of them, Mary? <laughs> okay, well. No, but I got my, my grid finished. I got my truck finished. Oh, okay. Isn't yeah. that fun? It is, but you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a turkey on the other side. So then all I have to do is flip it for the holidays. Oh, 
what a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. So Marsha and Ginny, do you know about the piecing grids that we're talking about? Um, I, th I think I do. I'm not positive. I mean, I, I, I haven't, I did one a long time ago in with four inch squares or five inch oh, squares. Okay. You know, those Alamodes it's called and they have sayings on them. And she sells a whole sheet of them. I got it out of oh. Cold Fair. Oh, and okay. Her company's called Alamode. And so you can get one for realtors. You can get one for nurses. You can get one for your husband. You can get one for a hunter. Anyway, and they have all these different um, sayings on them. Uh -huh. And then you cut them out and they, they're about a five inch square. Okay. Um, and then you can put them with other fabrics and you make a quilt. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I did that for my sister and I used the piecing grid for that. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Sure. That would work. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I wanted to contact these people a year ago, but I finally reached out to them. So I have a lot of their piecing grids. Um, it's 10 sisters. And we've, we've had a lot of fun with that. Those, some of those pieces, I can't imagine though. I'm sorry, even with one, one and a half, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I could do that. They're oh, so it's so easy when you have it a is easy. ruler. Yeah. It's, it's just a stripology ruler. You cut like right now, I'm actually cutting out one inch blocks because we have I don't know where the two inch one is, but this is a one and a half inch panel okay. that we've done. And then this is, it's kind of unfinished. Uh -huh. This is the one inch and the bottom, we don't have it sewn together it's yet together. so we can use it for demonstration. Okay. But yeah, cutting out the squares is really simple when you have a stripology ruler. Mm -hmm. And I have, an I have an Acu quilt. Yeah, if you can cut, I mean, yep. the stripology ruler, the nice thing is number one, I like because it's easy to store. You right. don't have to buy anything. It's just one right. purchase. And right. But <clears throat> you can cut two and a half inch strips. You could cut three and a half. Yep. But the, the grid system is two and a half that finishes to two, mm -hmm. two inches that finishes to one and a half, one and a half that finishes to one. Right. And then there's also a half inch. So you oh, cut wow. out <laughs> the one inch and it sews down. But yeah, you just put right sides together, zip your quarter inch seam, mm -hmm. do all of the lengthwise ones first, snip those seams after you're done. And then that way you snip it right to the quarter inch. And that way, when you start going this way, you take the bottom that is already sewn because all the vertical ones are sewn and you can nest them. So the first one, I'd probably have the top up and the bottom down. So they're going in opposite directions. And then you do this side the next one. and then the next one. So it's just alternating. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it looks like this, right? So yeah, when I was showing Janelle different quilts for her wedding, uh -huh. she chose one that looks like it could be done with a piecing grid. Oh, oh. We, we have four or five different books of theirs here too. And I'll go grab one. Okay. Okay, so here's an example. I also grabbed just one bolt. We sell this by the bolt, by the panel. Okay. And <clears throat> they're nine by 14. So nine squares going across and 14 down. And it's basically interfacing 
that's fusible. Okay. And this one is the one and a half inch block that sews up to this size here, which is the one inch squares. And the, what they did with the printing of it, as you can see, these are all one inch squares, but the lines on the interfacing are slightly bigger than one and a half. So that gives you room to fold ah. and so. <clears throat> but Janelle had picked out a quilt similar to this. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No half square triangles, just squares. <laughs> <laughs> she really so, does love you. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the panels. And that's your pattern right there. Mm -hmm. I love you it. You just match your colors. You could do different colors. Mm -hmm. But I think with this one, it's just keeping the squares or you know the, the perimeters the same color. And you can have it very scrappy. So it's a good scrap mm -hmm. buster. Um, the red and white one that I did, I had a lot of red fabric at home. And I first cut one and a half strips of it if I had like the full salvage to salvage. Right. And then turn those strips and zip those mm -hmm. into one and a half, threw them in a paper bag, like a gift bag. I just picked them then, up. <laughs> yeah. And then the white, mm -hmm. I just used a layer cake of Kimberbell white on white. Uh, so do you, do you think you'll be able to do that with the piecing grip? I could, yeah. In fact, uh, you you three ladies are great customers. I have another great customer that lives near Hayward, Wisconsin. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. she came in. She bought like twenty panels, and she said, "My best friend passed away, and I got all her vintage fabric, and she has two oh grown my. adults, and I would like to make them a quilt." each of them a quilt using oh, this fabric oh. and she brought in she had done four panels I think it was maybe she maybe it was six but I believe it was four panels and she sewed those panels together mm -hmm. so she's just getting started it was beautiful I posted it um probably in the friends of time flies quilt and okay. so yeah and 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 her fabric had small print and there was blue there was pink you know kind of like the 90s colors and it was gorgeous and i think janelle saw that picture and she uh, said i, I love that <laughs> and i said i could do that but we yeah. also found some other patterns too uh -huh. but i i would love to do something like that so these books all have instructions, like the steps of how to do it. Mm -hmm. And there's like, I think I figured each pattern is like a dollar. This The book is $20, but there's like 20 different patterns. Yeah, look at this one. Wow. So you kind of get the idea. What I love about this it's brainless sewing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to make, lay out your fabric as the picture shows. Here's another one. So mm -hmm. this book is, was their first book. It's 10 quilts ah. for sisters. And there really are 10 sisters. <laughs> oh They're my goodness. From Utah. <laughs> Um, what is your friend, if, is your customer's name, Mary, the other one, Mary yes. Kay. Oh, Mary Kay. I was yeah. just looking, I just went to friends of time flies. Oh, okay. She might show up as Mary, but Mary well, Kay Jansen is her okay, name. Okay. Yeah. This one is Mary, somebody else. Mary, okay. Mary Kay Jansen. You would love her. We love her. She's just wonderful. Good. So here's another book. Oh, quilts. Oh, quilts for kids. 
And here's the back. Oh, cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the hedgehog. Yeah, the hedgehog. That one is my favorite. Um, let me find the hedgehog in here. Well, here's alligator and giraffe. <laughs> here's the elephant. And these ones are usually like six panel. Here's the hedgehog and the fox. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Those are really cute. Some owls. Oh, that's cute too, yeah. And the whale. Yeah. Yeah, and yet there are some regular patterns too. In this book. That's a good scrap buster, that one. Yeah, no kidding. Kind of oh. got that Irish chain piecing going. Have you seen the Tilda Posey um, pattern out on social media? I don't think so. No. It's using so. the piecing grid. It's like a oh. pixelated bouquet of flowers. Oh. Oh. It's beautiful. And that's a free pattern. So there, so now this book, this one is called Seven Brothers oh. Block Party. So now this one, you have to make some half square triangles. Ah. And I say, why not use up some of those extra half square triangles that you have laying around the house? Yeah, yeah. So it shows you how to make the various blocks. Wow. You could make three of them and make a table runner. I mean, the creativity behind these Wow. And, and the, the best thing is, is you don't have to think too hard. <laughs> you just have to have your colors cut. And then I just stood at the ironing board and fused. I did use a silicone mat because I have a Laura star and I didn't want my iron to get any of the oh. insulation. Right. Or not insulation. The it's, fusing stuff. The fusing stuff. Yeah. And then this is a neat book around the block. Now this, I haven't graduated yet to, but I will. Oh, that's the 10 sisters too. This is 10 sisters also, but it's using, I don't have any of their border panels in yet, but my understanding on the border panels is they're long and narrow. Oh. So it's good for making medallion quilts. Ah, mm -hmm. that is cute with those houses. Yes, there there is a really cute pattern for houses. But um, here's one I thought was really pretty. I love the quilting on it. It's like long. I don't know if you can tell, but no. there's long feathers in between. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they do have some on point borders and they have um, regular, like these ones would be regular. Ah. But it sure reminded um, me of counted cross stitch. Look at this one. Woo! Wow. Whoa. <laughs> be, be dizzy by the time you get done. <laughs> That one's lots of panels, but it's they're narrow because those are the border panels that are on point. So it's always nice yeah. to learn something new, that's for sure. Oh yeah. And that's and that's is, kind of that's kind of thoughtless, like you say, it's easy, you know. Oh, it's easy. You know, the this this is hard. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You have to be awake. You have to have had your coffee. You have, you to, have to be, be in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, I, I call, this is morning sewing for me. I'm most uh. alert in the morning when I've had my coffee. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have four the... blocks done, but of course I was gone all summer. So now, <laughs> so now I'm working backwards though. I just, I just got the block 11 fabric. So I'm going to go okay. 11, 10 and go backwards. So yeah. I can... Yeah. I still have 12 to do, which 
I have it starched and ironed. Ah. Now I have to cut and I'll do that. But then I also have to do number five. Oh. And then I can put my borders on because Jess rescued me on number five. So <laughs> she made her five. But now I'm going to show you Jess's quilt. I'll hold it up here. So she, she was the first one to get hers done. And these are large quilts. Let's oh my see. goodness. And she has the purple border. So yeah, you beautiful. Oh, you need That's a ladder. Beautiful. Yeah. To, to really properly show this or a bed. Wow. And I'll just kind of go in all different directions so you can kind of see the blocks. Wow. Pretty. Yeah. I know yes. I was looking, I was looking at the, the final, how they put all, where they put all the blocks and they don't put them in order. Yeah, I, you, you can basically do it however you want. They're yeah. all the same size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think she probably followed. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very pretty. Nice. They're all beautiful. I love the colors. Although, although yes. that's well, I did it. Yes. So we wanted to get this done before the quilt show so we can show them because I did buy extra fabric. And oh. So we might end up with about five different kits. Ah. So. Well, I may and have to change up all the colors in my house because <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm pretty traditional, but then I have that quilt and I'm, I also have the nebula quilt, which is also very colorful. Yes, <laughs> yes. So if I ever well, use both of them. Yeah, I, um, I figure it's nice to be able to change up your house a little bit, like even in ours, our walls are kind of a teal green in our bedroom. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So I have a K facet quilt on the bed right now and it looks fantastic with it, but I could put that quilt on our bed. The problem think, is all fine. that work and then you put it on your bed and I don't bring people into my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think quilting is mostly, well, if you keep the quilt, it's for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you gift the quilt, well, Hopefully you're gifting it to somebody that appreciates it. I wish I had a wall big enough so I could, you know, put it somewhere where everyone can see it, you know? Yeah, even in the shop here, I don't have enough walls. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I get worried watching Rick climb the ladder too because our ceilings are mm -hmm. tall. Oh, right. And the last time that he was up there, I was like, oh, this, this could be ugly. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask you when you were doing showing us the three the ten sisters piecing, um, Sylvan. When you had him there, you sh he you guys showed a quilt and it was a portrait or something. Yes, it was yes. that done that way or no? No, he did that all embroidery. That was a counted cross stitch quilt, oh. and each square was about one inch finished. And it wasn't a square, the perimeter was a square, but the counted cross stitch was in a circle. Oh. So, and it was a picture of one of his best friends. It okay. was a girl and she yep. passed away from breast cancer. And he said she was the best friend that he ever had. Oh. And then she passed away and so he made that kind of to memorialize her. Yeah, yeah. And that, I forgot what quilt show that one, or if, if that really does belong to Paducah. He's got quilts in Paducah. He has mm -hmm. won so many awards, ah. so many. I didn't ask him wow. how many, but he did a slideshow of quilts that he didn't have anymore. Mm or didn't bring with him right. and 
oh gosh, he probably showed 20 quilts and they were all like, this one won this award and this one was another uh, one. And then um, he had two quilts that he brought, the portrait quilt and then another one that was done in embroidery because that's his thing. He loves right. embroidery. He has three embroidery machines at home. And when he was doing that portrait quilt, he had all three going at once. Oh my, oh my wow. goodness. Yeah. And the other one that he had wasn't quite as large, but it was made out of um, three colors, I think. Red, blue, red, yellow, and blue. And it was an exercise of really the color wheel because it looked multicolored because some of the threads uh -huh. overlapped. Mm -hmm. And that one had won first place in Tokyo. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, I mean, he's an internationally known guy. And he said, that was kind of fun. He said, I won $3,000 and many doors opened. <laughs> for oh, I bet. Being wow. a winner. Yeah. So he basically got to go there for free. Wow. And it was a lot of fun great fun having him. And so for those of you that didn't get to um, enjoy him this year, for whatever reason, we have him coming back the first full week of October. You can't sign up yet, but it is, mm -hmm. it was so well worth it. Just about everybody that was here. We had 24 people. Wow. Closed, closed the store we moved out our center room and had all the tables there. We used the big screen TV in the big room. Um, and he's so entertaining and he makes you laugh. And he's, the day just flew by so fast with him. Oh. So I had, I. So did you sew samples of things or did you have a project or what did you do? Yeah, we had kits that he had us sew up. Ah, I, there's <laughs> that Miss Connie who moves everything. <laughs> Get on. Marcia Mary. Slavens, Ginny Bigsby, and oh, Mary yeah. Nelson, and it looks like Sue Ooh, McGrady. Somewhere. Yeah, Sue Chet McGrady. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, he he was tremendous, and so yeah, we did. It was Bernina boot camp. Okay. Everybody mm -hmm. learned their Bernina like they never knew. Like, like he told me, he says, I'm going to teach them the Bernina way. And then I'm also going to teach them some of my tips and tricks. Okay. So he had them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I saw your little blurb about February's. Yes. Retreat. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's not on the calendar yet, but I was excited because I talked to a husband and wife team last night and asked them if they could join us. And they said, yes. Would they good. snuggle? Snuggle, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we always keep it as a surprise until you get your boxes. Um. What do you when in February? Do you know? Mm -hmm. The tenth and the eleventh, Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't know if we're gonna do something on Sunday or not. Okay. Okay. Um, but that's the weekend, and okay. I I I will record their presentations too, because um, I I had one person text me who said, "Oh, rats." I'm going to be down in Florida that weekend. And, uh, and I said, well, that's okay. We're going to record them. So you can still sign up and get your goodie box. And there may not be a Florida to go to. Pardon? I said, oh, they may yeah. have, if they keep yeah, having been, hurricanes. I oh my know. goodness. Terrible. I, I feel bad for those people. Oh, at no least, kidding. at least like you with all the snow, at least, you know, it's going to melt and you're going to be fine. You know, right. it's like, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. How's your weather been in Texas, Marsha? Um, 
too too warm, but it's been cool. It cool. Well, it's funny. One week it cools off at night to 40, 50 ish, and then it only gets up to 60, 70. Another day it'll cool off and then it's 82 by noon. You know, oh, yeah. it's, it's kind of like, but still too hot for me. I like, give me the 60s, 70s, and I'm perfectly oh. fine, you know. Right, right. So, but at, at least we've been getting some rain. Thank goodness yeah. we were so dry. Yeah. So we have a very dreary day. You can see Ginny's window. That's the look out yeah. our window, too. Uh, it's, I didn't yeah, know our, if it was fog this morning, but it was pouring when I hopped into my car. Uh, car. But it's brighter than yesterday was. <laughs> oh. It was really dark yesterday. Yeah, it was. And we've had such wind. The wind wakes me up mm -hmm. at night. Oh, so there's, yep. there's supposed to be more wind coming through. Now, do you have snow? No, we oh, okay. had snow. We right in the middle Not of yet. October. <laughs> Um, but right now it's fairly warm, but it's supposed to be turning cold now. Once this uh, front goes through, it's going to get like 32 degrees. Yeah, and I see that like Northern Minnesota and up that way, they got, some of them got a foot of snow, you know? Yeah. I don't think it was recently though. Must have been that last storm. Yeah. It must've been the last storm because mm -hmm. we had, we had over a foot. In fact, I, I always get home late. Rick was still at the shop and I got out of the car to get my mail out of my mailbox and I'm looking at the snowbank that the plow left and I'm like uh I don't know I think that's up to my fender you know oh. up to my knees I don't think I should try to jump that bank with my little red car <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> So I called Rick and I yeah. said, um, I don't think I can drive up the driveway. And he said, oh, yeah, I better come home and plow. So I just backed up into my neighbor's driveway, who's my cousin, uh -huh. oh. <laughs> and waited for him to come plow me out. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I have to so, say, I don't miss that, but I do miss the season. I miss yeah, the oh, yeah. Well, and this year I bought six pumpkins for the front of the store and I bought a couple of pots of mums and I normally don't do that because they don't last right and right. sure enough they were lost in all that snow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well at least you, it felt good for a couple days <laughs> it felt good for like a week <laughs> I think I had them for a week oh, oh. so okay well, so if you, does anybody want to just virtually sew together or, or do you have other things going on? Oh, I have other things. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not sewing my, sewing today. Okay. My, okay. my daughter and grandson are coming tomorrow. Oh, um, wonderful. That's yeah, always fun. Melissa's the one, she just had the new baby in June. Um, oh, but but she's just coming with the four year old. Oh okay. She said Fun. I need a Camden. Camden needs a mommy time. Yeah. And, uh, so they're gonna come tomorrow morning and stay till Monday night. And, okay. Uh, so nice. they're flying in. Yeah, they're flying into Dallas. Yeah. So we'll drive up to yeah. Dallas and get them. And yeah, so nice. Trying to, unfortunately, it's supposed to rain set Friday tomorrow and Saturday. So we I thought oh we could go to the zoo because we have a great zoo and you know yeah. So now we'll have to figure out something else. He wants to go. We have basketball tickets for Braille. Mm -hmm. And he wants mm, yeah. So I said, do you want to go to a basketball game? And he said, yeah. So he asked his mom. He's all into LeBron James and um, <laughs> Space Jam. So he uh -huh. asked his mom if Lebr LeBron James or if Bugs Bunny were going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I, said oh, to my, I said to my daughter, do I need to call Baylor and see if somebody will wear a bunny costume? <laughs> like, oh, what a letdown. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So we'll or maybe see go find them a Bugs Bunny stuffed toy. I don't know if they make those anymore, but. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm looking forward to it. I haven't seen them for a while, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, with my daughter getting married, she did. I did ask her, so do you guys want to have children? And she said, well, we'll see what God has in mind, but I, I would love to have a 
a baby, but she's 34. Uh -huh. But if she does, and if she has a girl, I'm going to have Ginny Bigsby teach me how to yeah. smock. <laughs> yeah. I will bring my pleating machine and I was going to say, I have a lesson. pleater too because I make couple you? dresses. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 yeah I'd Guess like and granddaughters are a great excuse to do it. Oh, all. yeah. Yeah. I never, I never got a chance when <clears throat> Suvi and Kit were little. Oh, here comes Marsha. Oh, ah, classic dresses. bishop dresses. All right. Oh, very cute. We yep. lived in Alabama. We li lived in Alabama. And oh, of course, that's like the capital. Of, so yeah. that's yeah. when I started it. That's when I started. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. still have the dresses. I didn't get rid of them. And then I yeah, made of course, that's good. I I wish that I would have kept everything that I sewed. <laughs> yeah, and then I and then I did um, navy blue dresses, um, and pleated with a Christmas design, the red and oh. green on it. And oh. I got those picture smocking. Yeah, I got those put away too. I I got, I got those too in a bin somewhere. <coughs> well, how cool is that? Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. We got to get through the wedding and all of that first. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Thirty four. 34 is not too old though. I mean, I had my no. last I had no. my last one at my first one at 28. And I think I was 34 when my last one was born. Okay. Okay. So, well, that means that yeah. they gotta just hit the road running. But you know, it was kind of cute because when we met his <laughs> met his parents, his parents were living in Jacksonville, Florida. He was raised in Minneapolis, so they're retired and we're living in Florida, but they sold and moved back to Minneapolis now. Oh, and they're great people. We we enjoyed our visit very much. We met at a restaurant and I bet you it was under five minutes. They said to both of them, all right, our youngest grandchild is 14. <laughs> we'll be waiting. <laughs> No pressure. No, pressure. yeah, right. No pressure. I thought that was good coming from them instead of me. Exactly. <laughs> uh, too cute. Too cute. Yeah, it was fun. All right. Well, it's always fun visiting with you, ladies. So you too. Yeah, it is. Thanks in. for the tips. Yep. And we're a little off topic for most of it, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's, that's okay. All I'm right. about six months behind, so that's right. yeah, I will that's be right. left okay. for Christmas. Sure. Well, this will go up on YouTube, and you can search for the Illusions Block of the Month, yep. Block Eleven, and relive <laughs> this conversation. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you guys, all of you, have a happy day. Thanks. Yep. And happy you too. Too. And happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Thank Veterans you. Day happy too. Thanks, Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Definitely. We'll see you next month. All right. All thanks, right. Pam. Bye. Okay, bye.